video two of three. Uh, still out here near the river source, trying to clean it up. Bought two trash bags. Last video was the first one. Second one. Got the grabber, but it sucks. I'm going to be focusing primarily on this little area. Trying to get as much stuff off those rubber roots as I can. First, I'm picking up some stuff that's just right here on the camera. Because I only saw it once I moved to this part. Still about half part of the last video. This stuff is small and everywhere. I don't know if you can see me or not, but last time I found out we're trying to pull the test bag open while putting stuff in there, it doesn't really work. So I'm just kind of popping it open over here off to the side. I'm using the grabber thing even though it sucks. Uh, so with my camera was a little better so you can see the trash more clearly so you can know how bad this is. But it's not. And even when it goes up it's kind of hard to see with the camera. Which I sincerely hope isn't intentional Android. I don't think I ever been trying to look at your pollution products too. Actually has a lot of different materials. So they actually create a lot of pollution and a lot of carbon uh, pollution. The problem is I don't know if there's really a way to fix that. I wish I had one of those stabby drivers that would probably be better for this, but I couldn't find one. Even when I looked on Amazon, it said sold out. Are they actually using it for something useful or something dumb? Because I can see like high schoolers and college students buying them to do something dumb. Which I will not begrudge people who do dumb stuff. I just wish they'd also be useful stuff. Like being a trash. I'm really glad my roots are waterproof. I spent extra money on that exact feature for more or less this exact reason. If I didn't know any better, I'd suspect all the knots in these bags are people who intentionally being dickbags, but I know that to some degree or another it's water just randomly cleaning it around, tying it up. Hopefully. There's also a high school meet here. Uh, I thought about it before, I don't know how they would do this, but I've had the thought before of uh, trying to get in contact with their like, principal or something. Uh, where there's school boards, you can ask them to have students from out here and help clean this area up. I was looking at extra credit projects to help with the environment out some where they can. Uh, deal with Anna Alpha and Younger Gen Z will probably. I just don't know how I would organize that. Or if some place like a high school would even do it. I 
I would like to say this waterfall is very pretty. It's not. Even outside of the trash, it's not all that pretty. This is all entirely mud right here. There will be water flushed down onto rocks. The rocks produce the paint water. There's all the mud getting caught on them. There's all the waterfall. There's some very consistent water flow here, which I'm amazed with how many roots have tried to choke out this river. As you can uh, kind of tell from the path of taking, that this part that I'm standing in used to be a lot deeper. But uh, that's probably very specifically this tree. I'll show it to you when I pick up the camera at the end again. Grew, uh, it pushed the dirt uh, out and dropped leaves and branches and stuff, which created new dirt. Uh, partially pushed the river sideways. Since it was already part of the river there, the river didn't really fight back. It was very easy to not fight back. And that's something the water loves, is ease. I would love to say that this was a little cleaner, by the way, than the last time I was here. One, it's not. Uh, a few little bit that is cleaned up is just from all the heavy rain. Uh, literally, poof, it's out of the way. Crack bag, it's not quite back as well as we do. This explains where all the water bottles are coming from. I'm picking up like four in the last few videos.
building, all the traffic is in the back right now. Just to try and see how much I have. I'm trying to do a back for video. But I want to take a little break. So I want to see how much more I need to go before I have a bag. I'm about halfway. About half a bag worth of trash. Ugh. About 10 minutes. See so yeah, how that about tracks. Uh, this is the tree I was talking about, by the way. It probably very actively pushed some of this dirt out further, and then the roots took over more. Fairly consistently taking over this little waterfall. Uh, I wish this thing would stay straight. Camera angles are the only thing I want straight about this, though. No, I'm kidding. I don't care. Uh, I'm trying to put you a little closer so you can hear the waterfall better. Always great content, waterfall noises. And mine are even real. Ugh. Sorry about how bad my camera work is. This is a shit tripod, a shit uh, phone. And this is the most uneven ground in the world being a slowly collapsing hill next to a riverbank. If I knew how to make that thing more stable, I would try it out, but I don't. And yes, I am using this talk as an excuse to take a small break. But it's over now, so back at it. Uh, it's stuck in my head now. Uh, I actually know you couldn't hear me, but it was the fourth, the fifth of my near fall. A major lift. You got another goddamn line of Halloween. And yes, breaking the pattern is intentional. That's part of the joke that I heard. It is stuck in my head. There's so much. Leaf trash that I know is old. Uh, yes, leaf trash is a real thing. The leaf litter, as it's commonly called, uh, long grasses are better for paths like this. And there's not a lot because I guarantee you, when they were constructing this area, they put a lot of them down. Because it is not native grasses, you see everywhere else. Ugh. But uh, long grasses catch leaf litter really well. Uh, long native grasses catch native tree leaves really well, especially. Ugh. And uh, they help break it down faster. I would. I'm getting caught on like wherever it's like these. And that's roots like a pathway, not roots like a tree. Which is confusing, I know, because these are river roots, which are tree roots uh, designed to go into a river. They're very interesting pieces of plant evolution tech stuff, I guess. I don't know what you call it properly. I thought of an evolutionary trait. One of the reasons why I was taking a break is because I keep getting stuck in this little area. So this is all mud. Mud and river water. It's not even good river water, it's all runoff water. Well, mostly runoff water. I 
was expecting this to be a lot more common tonight, unfortunately. That was a Hershey bar wrapper, if you can't tell. And I'm saying that because I'm filming this Halloween morning. It is like 8 in the morning on Halloween. 8.40, called it. Yes, I do have ADHD, if anyone is wondering. Yes, it is acting up today, but it can be very scatterbrained. Probably because it's been hours since I slept. This thing is longer than my arms, I'm going to use it. Uh, when I say hours, I mean I woke up at 1 a.m. It is now just before 9. I got like three hours of sleep. But I work nights, so I'm used to it. This makes a surprisingly good thrower for a thing called a grabber, by the way. I'll see what it's Surprisingly. A fording a river. Ta! That's good to know what we're going to get. That's the way we type something. having to stick my feet into the mud to pull myself out of the mud for each step I take. Yeah. Well, I'm getting out of the deep part of the river right now. I don't know if you saw that, but the mud just pulled my driver. Very rude if someone was trying to help it. That's what I was having trouble pulling off the thing earlier, by the way. I'm putting all these under like a dead wood ramble back right there. And despite the name, Ambo's appearance isn't actually dead. Dead wood ramble is just that type of plant. I don't remember what its real name is. It's just always been called dead wood rambles. Because they're spikes, or thorns rather. It look like they're dead, even at the height of the growing season. And they form little brambles, which is a thorn bush. Uh. Sorry for the close up shot of my ugly face there, but you know how it is. That should be about a bag of trash. So I'm going to show you some more of what I mean when I say the river got pushed. Uh, I'll pick it up in a second. But there's the trash bag. 
I really wish this thing would, uh, but this, down to where my shoes are, is the old path of the river. It didn't probably cut to this, but all the various big trees, trees pushed it out of the way. There wasn't enough bone to form an oxtail, which I would have been amazed if a river this small made an oxtail or a horseshoe or whatever they're called, uh, or she lakes. But, uh, I'm gonna stop the video now, take my little break, throw all of that stuff in the bag, and then I'll start off the next video showing that it's a full bag. If it's not, then I'll just keep filling that one up. But, I've been there mind, and I'm trying my best to improve this area.